This is Conversations with the Mulvane Collection. Today we discuss Cattle in a Landscape by Peter Gerardus van Oos, an oil on panel painting in the Mulvane Art Museum's permanent collection. Cattle in a Landscape was donated to the Mulvane by Dr. Dorothy Fuller in 1981. Peter Gerardus van Oos was born to an artist family in The Hague, a Dutch town near the North Sea, on October 8, 1776. He learned to paint by studying with his artist father, Jan van Oos, in the 1790s. His mother, Susanna de la Croix, his sister, Maria, and his brother, Georges, were also artists. Stylistically, the Van Oos family continued the Dutch pictorial tradition of realist still life paintings and rustic landscapes. From an early age, Peter was especially interested in the work of the 17th century artist Paulus Potter, whose canvases he copied as he was learning to paint. At the end of the 18th century, Peter established a studio in Amsterdam. There, he taught a number of pupils and ultimately his son, Peter Frederick. In 1810, he returned to The Hague and continued to work as an artist until his death in 1839. The Mulvane's painting, Cattle in a Landscape, depicts a man wearing a hat who is turned away from the viewer. The figure stands next to a donkey, a cow, and several sheep within an expansive landscape. The man appears to be caught in the motion of securing objects laid over the donkey. Together, he with the livestock comprise a tight figural grouping in the center of the composition. To the left of the group, a large snag or dead tree is depicted. In the foreground, a small brown and white dog stands to the side. It looks out of the picture plane, surveying the landscape. The pale blue sky dominates nearly half of the painting. It is filled with softly rendered, dense gray clouds. This oil on panel painting possesses a muted palette. Here, color is subordinate to tone, again emulating 17th century Dutch landscape paintings. Peter's utilization of a dead tree within the composition recalls the landscape paintings of 17th century Dutch painter Jacob van Roosdel. Roosdel often used an old or dead tree as a repoussoir or a pictorial device. Peter van Oost's tree functioned similarly, setting off the principal scene and creating a sense of depth. Further emulating the tradition of 17th century Dutch landscapes are the lively faces of the animals that are painted in minute detail and recall Paulus Potter's animal paintings. Cattle in a Landscape is a charming and animated testament to the significant tradition of Dutch landscape painting.